Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Lich Baz. This is a this is a fun one. This is the epitome, in my opinion, of what quest meta is. Quest meta is a giant exercise in trying to find a way outside of the bounds of playing the game fair. When you can get all of the power in the middle of the game and you get a tempo quest or whatever, if you're either settling for, I'm just going to do something fair and do it really well, hope the lobby ends early, and maybe get a first, or you get yourself ahead and you look for that infinite line. You find the infinite line, even if it doesn't play with your quest, and then just pivot all the way around by using 50, 60, 70 gold a turn, and then converge back upon your final board state. All right, <laughs> enjoy. One of my proudest accomplishments in life, maybe a little sarcasm in that statement, was I managed to move from one apartment to another all by myself. Okay, that's not a very big accomplishment. But the reason it was an accomplishment is I moved king size mattress, washer dryer. <laughs> like, I got creative, man. I slid shit on cardboard. I went up a flight of stairs. <laughs> like, it was all over the place. Well, this is why you play High Armor Hero. Wait, no, I want to play Sinfall. I've seen this game, though. No elementals for splitting scroll and Sinfall. Both are really good with Ellie's. Sinfall's boring. Boo, quit, go somewhere else. I'm not doing that. So Phalanx on Minions Die is very good. Or Splitting Scroll with... Uh, we do have Demons, at least. But we don't have Ellie's, which is just so important. Like, this line going infinite on four with Lovers is just so goddamn broken. It's actually the stupidest thing in the game. It's like OG Lover level imbalance, and they just still haven't fixed it. Go Phalanx again again do it again we might be too strong now too strong to lose we'll just invert order wouldn't lubber be in with pirates or there's something else you need for it recycling wraith that's not a pirate Recycling Wraith is the catalyst. That's where all your gold comes from. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. But nah, nah. It's time for t -t -t tombs. <laughs> like duels. It's time for the t -t tombs. All right, that was cute. I like that comment. Invert order. Die, minions, die. If we could just get everything except for this to die, both the rounds, then we would just have double death rattle phalanx while on Tavern 4 going to 5. There's an eye patch on a recycling rate, though. Imagine if, like, the entire game wasn't just about analyzing out-of-bounds conditions. Imagine if, like, there were versatile reasons to play or diverse reasons to play a lot of different things in the game instead of, like, is this cheesy thing available this game? What about this cheesy thing? What about this cheesy thing? That sure would be pretty cool now, wouldn't it? Golly, I'd love to see that in the future. Patch, where patch? I mean, what up? What up, Elrys? The classic Blizzard announcement of an announcement, giving us heads up that tomorrow might be a day worth tuning into. Classic Blizzard. I think we let all this go. 
Well, that's cute. Does this dog look like he got pet? Hmm? That's a dog. That's an ear. That's about all you can see of her. She's burrowed down into that pillow. No, it does not. See? It was released on April 1st. They lied to you. Okay. Actually so good. Maybe if we only take six damage. You got this. Perfect. It's pretty good too. These guys over here, they need hit. Oh my god, this is a, this is going amazingly. Swimmingly. That was perfect. Only six damage. Nice face. What up, Bowers? I still haven't checked the mail. I hope I got I got my hat. I hope it's in the mailbox. <laughs> Shush. What, spoilers? Hat spoilers? I told chat that I let I let you pick out my clothes. They already know. Bowers is out here helping me get dressed in the morning. I'm not capable of doing it on my own, honestly. To be fair, since I got busy and I can only right now... Most places only got working flushable toilets in the 1900s. It's a lot of, uh, that is a lot of defense of, of the magical plumbing coherency in the, the stories written for fourth graders. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I find it funny. I do too, honestly. <laughs> The situations and discussions to be to be talked about are are ten out of ten. <laughs> I just assumed that was a copy pasta. It is now. No Ellie's, unfortunately, for sandstone. Oh, we're murdering people. This game's so so free. It's so free, guys. It's ogre, and by ogre I mean we. Just get a good, nice second or third. No thought needed. Tried the guaranteed MMR tier 2 4 4 build and got my guaranteed second place. Yeah, the only real debate there is like, do you have enough scam potential to try to level? But it's just so, so free for MMR. Though it was funny, I played a private lobby with HMC, Jeef, Beater. Etc. Etc. Over the weekend, and HMC went that strat and got murdered by all the people that were <laughs> were doing broken shit. <laughs> it just relies on the lobby being weak, right? And like those lobby legends, lobbies are not weak. They're not weak at all. So like, yeah, it's, it's you can definitely uh, definitely beat it. just relies upon people not playing optimally. Anything to note here? I want to talk about poop that gives us a perfect segue to our sponsor, Linus Tech Tips. Yes, LTT is one of the sponsors for the upcoming Peepo Step On Me tournament that Bowers will be hosting. No, she sucks. That's right. But because we're going to be doing a charity tournament this weekend... On Bowers, Bowers channel, basically, uh, what's the start time? Seven hours before this point. If you guys are interested in some fun charity event, feel free to tune in the Bowers channel. I will be one of the casters on the on the couch, the casting couch, or something like that. Noon EST, seven hours before this point. Seven hours and seventeen minutes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That checks out. Nice couch. It's, it's going to be a nice couch. Very decorative. Okay. Why is every game trying to get out of bounds? I can't figure it out. 
I don't understand why every game feels like it's just an effort to get out of bounds. It's so weird how this just keeps happening. It's almost like when you create such an easy way to go infinite that people are just going to keep doing it. Well, I guess we're pirates. Are we strong enough to just play Record Smuggler? Ah, oh, we got a billion health, right? Peace, buddy. May the force be with you. Cell 3? I think you freeze. Is it really worth it when you're pseudo-infinite the next turn to be a lot weaker for this combat? We're at 36 health, but like, what are you gaining? Why are you giving up a bunch of health? For what? Saving the one gold? When you have golden Tethys Tethys? Yeah, hero power? Good idea. I like it. I mean that we don't have to rush. But like, if we were lower health, we'd be even less inclined. It's just like, it's bad now and bad later. To save one gold. It's really like, if you think he's absolutely trivial strength, you can save a gold. And I just don't read that, you know? It's not worth the health ramifications when next turn we're going to have 40 plus gold to work with. I'm saving one gold. News incoming. There is news incoming. Patch is coming, chat. Patch is coming. Bofer hates us, it's true. Factual. At least you guys didn't... Didn't let that one, you know... Sit there. Didn't make it little awkward or anything. Just like dove right into Bofer actually hates us. I like it. This guy's cooking though. Yeah, he's going to have dozens of stats. It's going to be really good against infinite boards. That's going to be dope. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. What if we just pivot back into Phalanx, Comp? You sure it isn't just Phalanx, Comp, in the long run? Seems a little weak, considering what we're given. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty confident it's not, actually. It's another Tethys. It's only good if we get the Tethys this turn, otherwise we need to sell it, right? Time to make a billion health cleave over here. Let's double gold on Tethys next turn. I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Hey man, with bananas, he could have like several dozen stats. Yeah. Yeah, he could. It's a risk I'm willing to take though. Kind of like that. Not terrible. You can keep us for a while and spit. Classic Goldrin shenanigans. Even when you don't have much, if you can put together Goldrin plus Baron, it's a decent board. Why is it always Tethys? Yeah, we're going to have to break one of them then quickly. Is 
Does ever taunt? Spell generation can be good. Just so easy to get stats with having Phalanx on the board. Where's my other Tethys? Why can't the Tethys just show up for work? You know? I'm not asking for much. Just looking for a nice little Tethys for my board. What's that? Gold gun. Mm, we can do this early. Because there's no pirates in the shop. That's not a pirate. There's the Tethys! We did it! That's not a pirate. Lies and slander. That's not a pirate. I, just, I looked over the anchor. Didn't even see it there. Okie dokie then. Now we'll break the... The nothing. Wednesdays? I don't have to stop early on Wednesday anymore. The series ended. It's over. How do you have this board already? Getting outside the gold cap. Hell of a drug. Oh, they go. They be... Part of me just really wants to play this composition that we've been given, but... But like, board buffing is faster than pirates, and that's... It's so sad that that's the case. Like, pirates just desperately looks for something that can give them real value, and then makes, like, final board. Want that triple ever? I don't have double spells. I'm starting to get to a point where, like, finding better tech curds might be better than than more stats. This was cute. We could have gotten a little earlier in the game. Cultist is good. Mm, it's okay. Bramble Witch is still in the game. Upside on putting it on the board is just like, if the 600 health thing dies early, it's useful. I really don't like putting that many eggs in the same basket. Look at all the health on a medium-sized minion. Mm. 
do you go for the spit? We lose that scaling vector. Really just don't want it to land here. Now we lose the ability to like consume with demons and such, but feels like it's the right time. Take the shot, leave the bumper, break it next turn, cycle through, go for golden matador, golden bran, dump the stats on the board, look for tech cards to fill around. If it's all tumbleweed boards, then big number, better, bigger number, better board. That we shouldn't worry too much from that standpoint. Plus 20 is pretty good, though. He's got Golden Monkey, and he, he got a really nice casual Venomous minion that, that stayed alive on the board, which makes him a lot more competitive against us. Still a minion short, though. Still a minion short, though. <laughs> Close, though. Ain't that far off. Twenty four, twenty four. But we have 40, 50 gold a turn and he has 10 gold a turn. We should be able to turn this into much bigger than what he has. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. Got ahead of myself. Callie. Callie would have been really good earlier in this game. Would have been really good earlier in this game. Animations. <sighs> Why you be so slow? Bro, those animations though. Really need to get like Golden Matador and anything else. You play any instruments? Not really. I learned a couple like a couple when I was in school. But that's the kind of stuff that like you don't practice for 10 years and it's gone completely, you know? Nope, not really. Taunt buffing guy. Yeah. Not very good card. Can I cycle it? Sure. But like, it's okay. It's like the 50th best card we could buy. APM boards are always the same logic. Better to do 100, 100 things mostly right than 50 things perfectly. And more in these situations, like the big ones that we can't miss are we can't give up Manta, we can't give up Rodeo Performer. We don't want to give up the health buffers. There aren't that many things that are that critical though. Nice double death rattle board. Hey, got us here. You go to six, infinite, and then you go beat the shit out of people with the infinite board. That is kind of the way this game works right now. There's so many lines that just take you out of bounds. And you have way more resources than you should have in the game. Wow. And now the game suddenly is, is back to normal pace. 
That other guy was causing a lot of lag, apparently. Mm, we could spit the Tethys if we wanted to. Like, if I see it, I should buy it, just for the sake of, like, a couple stats, right? But it's just not super high priority for me. Really want Golden Matador. But at this point in the game, it really is just a stat check. So, like, it's fine, I guess. Phew. Now I can't swap it. You can get Golden Matador with Fluidity and Goldening Spell. Yeah, it's not worth doing that level of that amount of time for it, though. You're not wrong. You can do that. But its upside is just not there. You spend a lot of time to make a Golden Matador. A Golden Matador against this Death Rattle board is, is okay. It's just not the highest of priorities. So you're not going to spend your entire turn making a Golden Matador with like buy up seven minions, flush seven more minions from your hand, then swap the thing, then play the, the gold spell. It takes like with the animation time, it, that would take almost your entire turn, you know, half of your turn right there. And you would gain no stats. I want the golden matador. I'm not going to go lose the game over getting the golden matador though. Is this spicy pretzel mustard? No, we've only won seven rounds in a row. I don't think we ever lost, though, did we? It's one of the biggest... One of the biggest tumbleweed boards I've ever seen. Anyway, still loses the APM Pirates. He's got to get some poison on this board, and he's got to hide it. If you use like your entire turn's gold to do that, it's the time more than the gold that's the problem. If this was a game where they were all big statted minions on their board, then I would 100% take the time to make the golden matador. It just ain't worth it against that board state. I like it. I can do without it. No. 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 Yeah. Jesus. Thirty seconds. What tech curds make sense outside of? I quit. I was thinking Baron or Ghoul, and then Zap is like a backup plan if we need to put it down as the last minion. We're health pirate. He's gone though. He quit. Sindora isn't terrible. Fort? Wait, I can't afford Fort! Fort! <laughs> Wait, what? Fort! He quit. So, like, obviously I don't have to care at the end. Well, 
You trying to increase Fort's win rate? Yeah, I'm trying to skew the data. That's my goal. Make Fort appear to be better than it actually is. Look at those little ballers. Too bad his monkey has taunt. That's unfortable. Yeah, unfortunately, we didn't get the fort on the board. On second thought, let's not play fort. It is a silly card. All right. Another game that plays out the exact same way. You went to six, you got outside the gold limit. You smack people around. I like how we can lose this, though. All right, we can't lose it anymore. <laughs> like, if you had the golden banana slammer and Baron, they dodged again, and this spawned a board full of 150 150s again. That death rattled up the two 150 150s. We're not that far ahead. That might be the biggest tumbleweed board I've ever seen. It's huge. Also, why is tumbleweed working? By the way, Tumbleweed, doesn't it reset? It says plus 8-8 eight, eight here, but it's still getting the full buff. It's reset in the past. Did they fix that bug? They just haven't fixed the number here? This game is an enigma. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Look at the ponies. This Baron has stealth. It's cheating. I mean, as we've gotten this far, we might as well just let him... Let him get absolutely every pony possible, you know? What are you up to again? You got another 11-11 or 10-10 buff this turn? Bro, that tumbleweed board was cooking. Anyway, basic APM Pirates Pizza. Woo! We didn't even get good stuff for scaling. We just had, like, the bare bones basics phalanx and then... Took the demon stats and then spit it, and just the health pool from Bran Tethys did it. That wasn't even a good APM Pirates game. Just having having 40 gold, 50 gold a turn is a lot better than having 10 gold a turn. What a combat for that Kelpazod. Honestly, it took like a decade over there. <laughs>